So ACEs and colour managed workflows, you may or may not have heard of them, but they are going to become more and more important as we move into a world where we produce programs in different standards and formats. Right now, HDR is becoming more and more popular. If you go into a TV store now to try and buy a 4K TV, it's likely that it will have some sort of HDR capability, even if you never actually use it. And in the next few years, we're likely to see more and more HDR broadcasting on television. And for that reason, color managed workflows are going to really help us out. Because a color managed workflow such as ACES allows us to get from how we shot our content to how we need to deliver it very easily and very simply. Now, one of the key color managed workflows around right now is ACES, the Academy Color Encoding System. And it sounds very, very complicated and quite scary. In fact, I've watched some presentations done by some people on ACEs that have left even me scratching my head at the end thinking, why, how? The thing to understand about a color managed workflow such as ACEs is they take care of converting what you shot your footage on to how you need it to be delivered. If you're shooting with a log camera, for example, it converts the log from log to how you want to see it, perhaps in standard dynamic range in Rec 709 on your ordinary TV or monitor. But it can also, at the flick of a switch or the press of a button in a menu, change that output from being standard dynamic range 709 to being HDR very quickly and very easily. So ACES as a workflow is available in most of the higher end color grading packages. It's certainly in uh, DaVinci Resolve, which of course there is a free version of. And I'd encourage you to try it if you've never tried it. So what you do is you set up an ACES project in Resolve. So you go to the color management page and you choose ACES as your color management. And then you simply tell ACES what you shot it on. And in Resolve, there's a drop down. You choose the format that you shot it on. I'm using Sony's S-Log3 here as an example. And then you choose how you want to output it. So if you need standard dynamic range, you choose Rec. 709. If you need HDR, you choose one of the many HDR options. And it really is that simple. You don't need to understand what's going on under the hood in ACES. But what I will tell you is that ACES converts your footage into an internal format that makes it very, very easy and logical to grade. Your grading controls become very intuitive. Exposure changes become much, much easier. Color correction and grading becomes easier. So it is very simple to use. And these are very, very powerful tools that you really do need to know about. So go and have a play, go and have an experiment with an ACES workflow. I think you'll find it quite simple and it should make everything that bit easier for you.